11 sandwiches. This is a lot of sandwiches. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Catherine and guess what time it is? It is time for me to try every fast food fish sandwich I can get my hands on in one day. I made a list of what's available this year and you won't believe it, there are actually 11 sandwiches from seven different restaurants. I can't believe I have 11 sandwiches to try right now. I'm excited, I'm hungry, which is good because you gotta be hungry if you're gonna do this. Enough talking, let me go in and get them. I have to walk in to get them, so I'll be right back. Got my Popeyes. My first stop of the day at the Popeyes right here. And I have two sandwiches. We have a classic flounder fish sandwich and a spicy flounder fish sandwich. And they're not labeled. Hopefully I'll, I'll be able to tell when I take them out of the bag, which one's which. Let's do this one first. Okay, still nothing indicating which one it is. Okay, it looks like there's some type of like sriracha or spicy mayo in this one. Again, it's not labeled. But I'm guessing that this is going to be the spicy one. This is the second sandwich. Okay, this has what looks like a standard tartar sauce. So I'm going to say this is the classic. I think I should try the classic one first because I think that's just fair. Mmm. It's fresh out of the fryer. It's pretty hot. Not spice hot. Just temperature hot. It's a little spicy. A little spicy. Maybe that's that Cajun flavor. Definitely some type of seasoning. I don't know if you can see it. There's Cajun-like seasoning in the filet itself. We see some pickles. And we see it's definitely a good dose of tartar sauce top and bottom of the sandwich. Oh, you even have double the amount of pickles too. I see pickles on top and the bottom of the filet. There's no cheese or anything like that. It's a pretty thin filet. A lot of breading. That's where the spice is. I can't really tell that it's flounder. I know that's what they're promoting it as being. Well, it's at least three, four and a half inches across using my hands as a guide. I like the bun a lot. It's nice and soft. The spice is good. Spice is pretty good. Let's try the second of the Popeye's fish sandwiches. Okay, this is the spicy flounder fish sandwich. I'm a little scared. I hope we'll see how spicy it is. I can just tell by feeling the sandwich. It's really hot in terms of temperature. I feel like they just fried it. No tartar sauce. But you see some pickles and you see something that looks like a spicy mayo. Hello. You definitely got a mouthful of the spicy mayo. You can see that right there. That has a kick. Ooh, ooh, that has a kick. Yeah, that's a double kick of the Cajun seasoning and the breading, plus the spicy mayo. It's good. I like the pickles a lot. No mayonnaise or tartar sauce to cool it down in any way. It's good. So I've got a lot more to try, so let's keep going. I'm at stop number two now, Wendy's. <clears throat> Hi, could I please get one crispy panko fish sandwich? Fish sandwich? Yes, please. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Fish sandwich. Okay, we're on sandwich number three, and it's Wendy's crispy panko sandwich. It is a wild Alaskan pollock. Oh, okay. Right on the label. It says wild, wild caught Alaskan fish. On first glance, I see some cheese, I see the filet, I see some pickles. It's not mayonnaise, it looks like tartar sauce for sure. Oh, there's lettuce. Okay. Surprise. Mm. That was pretty good. The lettuce, it's a really thin lettuce leaf. It doesn't really add much to it. Good size filet in terms of thickness. I like that there isn't a ton of breading. You can see this is a touted as being like a panko crusted filet and you can tell. You can see like a very light breading around it. I actually can taste the fish and it tastes good. No metallic taste, but we don't want that. Thin slice of American cheese. I can taste the tartar sauce and the pickles. Let me get one more bite in. Really nice crunch on the filet itself. This is quite good. Good job, Wendy. Stop number three is Carl's Jr. Hi, how are you? Good, good. I'd like to try the Panko breaded fish sandwich, please. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Bye. Carl's Jr. Here they have the panko breaded fish sandwich. 
And the sign said it was Alaskan Pollock. Let's see, this one here. Ooh. Not as potatoey soft of a bun as at the other places I've been to so far. You see some shredded lettuce. This looks like some mayonnaise here at the bottom, on the bottom bun. You see the filet, you see some tartar sauce, definitely some tartar sauce. No actual pickle slices. And no cheese, no cheese on this sandwich. Hmm. The combination of the mayonnaise and the tartar sauce is a lot. It feels kind of mushy for the interior. The lettuce doesn't offer too much crunch, unfortunately. The filet, let's talk about the filet. There's not much to talk about in this filet, honestly. It's promoted as being a panko breaded fish sandwich. The breading, the panko breading is just coming right off. No crunch. No crunch at all. Oh. Like this whole breading part here, it's just coming right off. It's, yeah, the, the filet is actually much smaller than the breading itself. Okay. I've got to go to the next place. I'm now in the drive through of Jack in the Box. It is a lovely day outside. It is a lovely day to be outside going through various drive throughs and eating a lot of fried fish. Hi, I understand that you have two types of fish sandwiches. Yeah. I'll All get right. one of each sandwich, please. Anything else for you today? That's it. Okay, see you at the window. Thank you. Great, thank you. The Jack in the Box. We have two, two Jack in the Box fish sandwiches in here. I'm just told they're Alaskan Pollock. I guess this is the smaller one because it's just one patty. Looks like some mayonnaise on the inside of the bun and some a little smear of tartar sauce in the center of the bottom bun. The shredded lettuce, mayonnaise, and tartar sauce. The fish itself has crunch. The patty's very hot, like they just fried it, which is good. But I don't really taste a lot of fish. I know it's there, kind of just doesn't taste a lot of anything. That's not great. Maybe I'll have better luck with a deluxe fish sandwich because that's bigger. I'm doing this very carefully. There we go. There we go. Two slices of tomatoes. You see two fish patties here. Those look just obviously like the same patties I just had now. There's one, two slices of cheese right there. Lots of very mayo-y like tartar sauce. Underneath here, oh boy a sort of smear of more sauce. <laughs> well, this is the first of the sandwiches I've, eating, I've eaten today that actually have tomato in them. It's usually just been pickle slices or tartar sauce or mayonnaise. Mm. I definitely need another bite. Two fish patties, two slices of cheese, sauces, lettuce, and tomatoes. And honestly, do you know what I taste the most out of this whole sandwich? The tomato. I'm not sure what to think when the only thing that really tastes is a tomato, and it's not a tomato sandwich, it's a fish sandwich. I just have sandwich all over me right now. <laughs> I'm in the drive through for McDonald's and I'm getting my OG, my beloved filet fish Hi, welcome to McDonald's. What can I get started for you? I'd like to order one filet fish sandwich, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Filet-o-fish. Yay. Filet-o-fish. From what I've read, it is a, a made of Pollock. The sandwich is made of Pollock. There she is. The perfect filet of fish. It's just the right size. It's pillowy soft. It's extra hot. I can feel it. You see there's some squirts of tartar sauce on there. A tiny square patty. And you can see the half slice of cheese, which is adhered to the bottom. It's perfect in the simplicity. That guy's racing to get his sandwich too. He understands.
I can taste the fish. You can see it's a, about like a half inch thick patty. It has a nice crunch. You can tell it's really hot, so they just fried it. You can see the flakiness of the pollock right there. You can see the little slice of cheese and the half slice just works. If it was a full slice, it'd be too much cheese. There's balance and beauty in this. I love it. We're at Burger King right now, guys. Can I help you? Hi, can I please get one big fish sandwich? Thank you. Okay. We have made it to Burger King. The penultimate stop on my fish sandwich tour. This is the Burger King big fish sandwich. It is promoted on the website as having 100% wild caught Alaskan pollock. Um, hmm. For a big fish sandwich, I thought it'd be a little bit bigger. <laughs> okay, it's very hot, which is good. That means that they just fried it. Bun is nice and brioche, put potato -y soft. I see just a couple of pickle slices there on the patty. Some more shredded lettuce. Wow, that is a good dose of tartar sauce. For being the big, big fish sandwich, I don't really get a big flavor or a big size out of this. Breading has a moderate crunch. How does the fish itself taste? Let's see. It's lacking something for me, I should say. It leaves me wanting. We have one more stop to go to. One more. This is a lot of sandwiches. <laughs> We're at Arby's. I don't know if I'm so hungry I can eat at Arby's, being that I've had eight sandwiches so far. I know what happened last year and I got severely mayonnaise here. So we'll see if that happens again. Thanks, thank you. I have three sandwiches in here. They're classic fish sandwich, which is just called a crispy fish sandwich. The deluxe fish sandwich, which is, I'm sorry, it's a King's Hawaiian deluxe. And it's the fish sandwich that's served in a King's Hawaiian roll. The new one is something called the spicy fish sandwich. And it's the fish sandwich but it has a bunch of cut jalapenos in it. First of the three I'm going to try is the standard crispy fish sandwich. And I can see right now this is that sesame seed bun that Arby's is known for when you get their, their roast beef sandwiches. Carefully take this off. I see a spread of some tartar sauce on the top bun. I taste the tartar sauce. The bun doesn't have any particular taste. Sadly, neither does the fish filet. It's rather mushy on the inside. But sesame seed bun, I find it a little bit too thick. For this, I like that softer brioche potato-like bun. Now we're gonna go for the King's Hawaiian Fish Deluxe. It's cold. This feels cold. Not melting at all. I mean, there's some melting cheese here, some. What else do we have here? A lot of tartar sauce. It's not hot. I know this wasn't freshly fried. Clearly because the cheese is just like solid. The big draw for this is the King's Hawaiian roll. That sweet bun doesn't do anything for the sandwich. I have one more sandwich to try. It is the spicy fish sandwich. Can you see it out there? Spicy fish sandwich. I can handle some heat. I don't know if I want just a mouthful of jalapenos though. Okay, there's chopped jalapenos mixed in with the mayonnaise here and the kind of concentrated in the center. Oh, this also has some tomato slices, more shredded lettuce, and a lot of mayonnaise in the bottom bun. No cheese. It's not unbearably hot, but it's just not the type of immediate mouthful of heat that I want. I'd rather have a spicy mayo or a sriracha mayo. I've done it. I've eaten 11 sandwiches from seven different places today. Arby's, Burger King, Jack in the Box, Popeye's back there. This is McDonald's here, Wendy's, and Carl's Jr. Now, what do I think of the sandwiches I just ate? Today, I'm going to compare all the ones I've tried and see which ones really surprised me 
and I was surprised. My favorite fast food fish sandwich was Wendy's. The Wendy's sandwich, I know. <laughs> I'm surprised too. Wendy's crispy panko breaded wild caught Alaskan Pollock sandwich. It was the best one. It was the second sandwich I had today. Even after eating all these other sandwiches, I still kept thinking about it going, that was a really good sandwich. It had like this great crispy exterior. It was just fried, it was hot. The panko breading was excellent. And I could still taste the fish in it too. It was surprisingly really good. I did not expect that. I highly recommend getting the Wendy sandwich if you can. I hope if you do get it, I hope it's as good as the one I had because it was really good. Now I really wish I got a Frosty when I was there. That is my wrap up for trying 11 fish sandwiches in one day. Wow. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite fast food fish sandwich is. Have you tried the Wendy's one? Maybe you have one that I don't have out here. I've heard a lot about Culver's and please tell me what that's like because I've never had that one. Hopefully I could try that soon. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a lot of fun doing this. I hope to see you all very soon in the next video. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. See you guys soon. Bye.